Hello and welcome to the Tankars. This is Battlefield Hardline. This is me playing the game. Bet you never thought you'd see that. Yes, because this is a game with a very controversial name and has been very controversial on my channel. Because I've moaned about this for the past year that it's been out. And I thought, hmm, finally, when I just haven't had the opportunity to record. Oh. Someone else stole my shot. I am playing on the blood money mode. This game mode is where you, you get money by stealing it from a bank thing, a vault thing here, and you've then got to transfer it. So I'll show you where that is and probably get killed instantly. Oh, flip. Yeah, you have to steal the money from that that crate bank box thing, and you've got to um, take it then all the way over the other end of the map and take it to your, your vault which is then where it's stored. However, you can then go and steal it from another person, from the other team's vault. Oh, no. Ah, oh, get out, get out. Yeah, I got sort of slightly exploded on that, as you can see. Battlefield, hardline. We're not in a battlefield, are we? We're getting wet in, on, in a posh person's mansion. Who is dead -lizing me? Hang on. Yes. Fire doesn't do damage to me. Look, I can run in fire because I have a special mask on. That's one thing I think is slightly not realistic. You survive just walking in fire because I have a special mask on to protect me. The game came out a year ago and I thought, hey, what better time to play it than a year after it came out? But yes. So one thing I didn't like was the fact that you have to pay, you earn money from doing stuff. So if I actually successfully steal money and complete the task, you earn money. And that money is like the equivalent of earning experience. Ah, shit, 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 shit. Run! <laughs> ah! And then you use that money to buy stuff, which is different to what all the other games are. And I guess at the time, I just didn't like the idea of change because they had never done that on Battlefield games. It's actually quite a good idea. It gets annoying sometimes, but it's a lot better because... Blah, 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 yes, because instead of having to... Because uh, I felt like all the time on Battlefield 4, which I still play by the way, um, that you would unlock a new gun or unlock a new piece of equipment and that that would be the equi piece of equipment you use now. But if you didn't like it, you just ended up being behind everyone else who did like it and was successful in using it. There are some unlock criteria like, um, for instance, here, uh, I have not yet unlocked this machine pistol. I'm not really interested in, but you can see there, there's an unlock criteria of betrayal, which is an achievement you have to get somewhere. So, uh, somewhere along the lines, whether it's story based or um, online, you unlock that, but then you can buy it. There are enemies above her! Yes! The maps are a lot smaller, I must say. Yes! Ah! <laughs> uh! Fire won't kill me. Fire won't kill me. Yes, but gun bullets to your head. Gun bullets to your head, not any other bullet. Oh, he murdered my face. He literally murderized my face. Huh. Hey, I need help over here. Ah! Oh, darn it. Oh, I must confirm. I'm not a murderer. I don't like murdering people in real life. It's a bit, sorry, sorry, it's a bit rude to look at me whilst I'm showering. Rude bastard. Why well, is there a massive window that's not frosted glass right next to the toilet? And why is there only one button? You always have two buttons, the poo button and the wee button. Huh? Oh, I was going for the jump over the wall and you ruined it. <laughs> feel much better now. All right, don't fall in those windows, Tom. Fell in one of the windows. Ah! Maybe I should try a more tactical approach. Like, don't go into war, stay at home, play video games. Got it.